We're talking to Carol Baskin from the summer Netflix obsession, Tiger King, and fresh off of her departure from Dancing with the Stars on Monday. Um, Carol, I was watching Good Morning America when you were on right after uh, leaving Dancing with the Stars this week, and you were asked the question about your late husband, Don Lewis, uh, who has been declared dead after vanishing in 1997. You were asked if you had any regrets about putting you and the controversy of his disappearance back in the spotlight. You said no, but I know that you feel a lot of the pain um, fell on your daughter and having to be constantly reminded of this. And that was so hurtful for you to see her have to be questioned as well. As mom to mom, I can't imagine how tough that's been, trying to shield her from a lot of this. It has been the most difficult part of this, both my husband and my daughter, because I'm accustomed to going up against bullies and I know how they will do everything possible to discredit me as the messenger about the fact that these cats don't belong in captivity. And I'm willing to take that on. But for my family, who knows? Because Jamie has been with me through the entire marriage to Don and everything yeah. subsequent to that. And so she knows that these things that were repeated in Tiger King were just, it was like handing a megaphone to the animal abusers and backing them up with each other, you know, each saying that, oh, yeah, yeah, she killed her husband. Yeah. She killed and her husband. Ask, and so fast forwarding, though, Carol, from the, the episode, I mean, here you are on Dancing with the Stars, and then there's an ad taken out, this lawsuit uh, filed by the three daughters of your late husband. Uh, how did it feel knowing that this ad was running in the time that you are trying to bring attention to the conservation, how did it feel to have that lawsuit and that ad in, in the show like that? Well, if anything could lead us to any kind of conclusion on what happened to Don, then that would be fabulous because my name would be cleared. But I really think that he just crashed a private plane over the Gulf, and I don't think that offering a reward is going to help prove that. But Again, I just felt like these were bully tactics that were meant to um, cause me grief. Mm -hmm. And I'm fine with dealing with that because I've dealt with those kind of people my entire life. But it, it hurts my husband and my daughter because if you can imagine, if, if, if somebody said the things about your mother mm -hmm. that people are saying about me, of course you would want to jump to her defense Absolutely. and you would feel like you have to... But I have to tell you, Carol, and... as my, my sister is, is a victim of a crime that's never been solved. Her death was a murder. I've also, on the other end, interviewed people who were wrongly accused of crimes that they didn't commit. So it's so interesting for me to talk to you, having, you know, family members being victims of crime, but also been with people who were wrongfully accused and cleared. What are you willing to do at this point to clear your name? What can you do at this point to clear your name if you have nothing to do with his disappearance and, and, and believe death? Until we can find out what happened, I have no way to do that. And so the only thing that I can do is stay focused on what my mission is. And my mission is to end the captivity of big cats and to protect them in the wild and hope that my family has the strength to come along on this ride with me. It's been quite a ride, a wild one, no pun intended. Uh, thank you so much, Carol, for joining us. I appreciate your candor and your openness to answer these questions. I know you've been interviewed a lot on Dancing with the Stars, and this is uh, the first time you've really had a chance to react to that lawsuit and so many of the other details out there. Thank you, Carol Baskin. We really appreciate you today. Thank you.